Hello everybody, it's SF Logic Ninja or David Earl, whatever you want to call me is fine. Um, so got some questions about compression and mastering. Um, I'm going to give you two tips. First tip today, second tip tomorrow, because the second tip is going to be very in-depth and I'll actually need my rig at the studio um, to show it to you. Uh, it's going to be based on grooves and all that kind of stuff, like doing stuff with grooves, audio to MIDI, etc, etc, etc. But today I just wanted to, I wanted to give you a little uh, analogy. On, um, on mastering and compression. Actually, just compression, because here's the thing about mastering. Unless you are uh, a really awesome engineer and you're really, really good at it, um, and you want to go into the art of mastering, I don't suggest doing it. I suggest taking your song or your album and sending it to somebody who does that professionally. Because mastering isn't as easy as just putting a little EQ and a little compression and a little limiting. Um, and checking out your analyzer to make sure everything is okay. It's actually, uh, it's an art form in and of itself. And um, one thing I would suggest is maybe go to a mastering studio. Go to, um, if you're in San Francisco, see Paul Stubblebine. Or if you're in, uh, in uh, LA, go see Tom Baker. Uh, and just visit the facility and, and actually say, hey, um, I just want to know what mastering is about. And maybe you guys can help me out. A lot of times they'll cut you a really good deal if you're an independent artist and you're not attached to a label. And um, it's a really, if you want to learn about mastering, that's the way to do it. I mean, I'm pretty good at a lot of stuff, but um, that's one thing that I've, I give it up. I go, hey, you know, Tom Baker did Nine Inch Nails. He can do the Marrow album. So um, anyway, uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic new year. And um, here's my little analogy about compression. So a compressor is like riding in the car with your mom. Now, your mom has a threshold, and when the volume of the radio gets beyond that threshold, she's going to reach out for the dial and turn the volume down. That's all compression is. It's a giant volume knob that's automated. So it, you're in the car with your mom, the music gets a little too loud, so she jumps over to that, um, that volume knob and she starts to turn it. Now, uh, how fast she starts to turn it is uh, the attack time. So she turns it slowly, that's a slow attack. If she turns it really quickly, um, that's a fast attack. Attack is basically how long the compressor takes to turn on. The threshold is the, um, the time that the, uh, that the compressor is going to kick in. So let's say that um, your compressor's threshold, threshold is set at negative uh, 10 dB. So when the audio reaches negative 10 dB and goes 1 dB beyond that, um, or, or just goes beyond it at all, the compressor starts to kick in. Okay, so back to the car. So your mom uh, is the compressor, and she's got a threshold. The music gets too loud. She reaches over for the volume knob. How long it takes her to reach over to that volume knob is the attack. Um, how long it takes for her to return the volume back to its normal state, in other words, turn the volume knob back to where it was, is the release. Um, now, how much she turns it down, that's the ratio. Now, the ratio in a compressor is um, usually shown uh, 1 to 1, 2 to 1, 3 to 1, 4 to 1, 5 to 1, etc., etc., etc. The way I like to think of it is, uh, let's say that um, it's compressing 2 to 1. So for every dB that the volume of your material goes past the threshold, it's going to be one half of what it would normally be. Um, so for every dB it goes beyond the threshold, it gets divided in half. Okay, that's two to one. So, as you can imagine, if your compressor is set 16 to one, let's say, then for every dB that your material goes beyond the threshold, it's a sixteenth of what it originally was. So, when we start getting that high, when we get to 30 to one, or 100 to one, that's usually what they'll call a brick wall limiter. Uh, a limiter is the same as a compressor, but nothing makes it beyond it. Nothing, nothing gets past that threshold. It just goes, just turns it down. So here we are, you're in the car, you're with your mom, and here's the things about compression that you need to remember. <laughs> My cat's trying to invade. Um, threshold is when, this, when the compressor is going to start kicking in. Ratio is how much it's going to turn it down. Attack is how long it takes to turn on. Release is how long it takes to let go. And then, um, let's see, attack, ratio, ratio, ratio. So we got threshold is when... Ratio is how much, attack is, is um, when it's going to kick in, release is when it's going to let go, 
And then, uh, oh yeah, and then you have something called makeup game. This is when your mom doesn't come into the picture, okay? But, hi, so Bill. It's my cat. Um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, the things to remember about a compressor, all compressors have uh, threshold, ratio, attack, release. And if you want to remember what those things do, just remember your mom in the car. Your mom gets a threshold, she gets pissed, she runs over to the volume knob and starts turning it down. Threshold is what time the compressor kicks on. Uh, attack is how long it takes to kick on. Release is how long it takes to let go. And then um, ratio is going to be, uh, like if it says 2 to 1, that means that any dB that it goes beyond is going to be a half of what it was. If it's 4 to 1, it's going to be a quarter of what it was. So what it would normally be going past that that uh, threshold, it's going to be a quarter or a half or a sixteenth or an eighth of what it used to be. Um, <laughs> I hope, uh, hope that makes sense to y'all, uh, but uh, that's how I usually like to teach compression, and if people, you know, kind of forget or they need an idea of what's going on, uh, I basically just say that compression is a big automated volume knob, and it kind of acts like your mom. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic new year, and I'll probably post the grooves portion of my tip tomorrow, and uh, happy new year. Take care. Ciao. By the way, um, <clears throat> a little PS uh, attached to this. Um, that's how a compressor works. But why would you use a compressor? Um, a compressor is a dynamics plugin that's used to control the amplitude of your material. So if you have basic it, its most basic use is to keep audio from clipping um, and if you reduce the volume spikes in the material then that means that the overall volume of the, the material can be brought up uh, and I'll probably be showing this off uh, later in a video when I have logic running but um, I just wanted to kinda add that in at the end because uh, I was a little distracted my cat was trying to attack me um, but anyway, I hope you all have a fantastic new year, and I'll be seeing you probably tomorrow. All right, take care.